This tutorial video introduces Xsense's Active Heading Stabilization Technology, which is also known as AHS. This feature is available for all Vertical Reference Unit and Attitude Heading Reference System modules. We will start by discussing the effects of magnetic distortions on orientation estimates and how AHS can help compensate for these effects. Next, we will cover some examples when we recommend using AHS. Finally, we will explain how to enable AHS and share some recommendations on using it correctly. In general, magnetometers are used to stabilize heading estimates by keeping track of magnetic north. However, in the presence of magnetic objects or additional magnetic fields, it can be hard to distinguish between these disturbances and the Earth's magnetic field. The AHS feature aims to reduce the impact of these distortions and maintain a stable heading estimate. There are various types of magnetic distortions. We distinguish between distortions that move with the sensor, such as when the sensor is fixed to a large ship or aircraft, and distortions that do not move with the sensor. For example, when navigating through a building with ferromagnetic objects or time-varying distortions. Although AHS is applicable to both types of distortions, we recommend using either our magnetic field mapping tool or our in-run compass calibration feature to compensate for fixed distortions. Distortions that cannot be compensated for by the calibration methods may be addressed by using the active heading stabilization feature. Here is an example to demonstrate AHS functionality on an MTI sensor. Consider two sensors with the same yaw orientation. The sensor on the left does not have AHS enabled and shows an initial north referenced yaw estimate of 45 degrees. The sensor on the right does have AHS enabled and initially shows an unreferenced yaw output of 0 degrees. When a magnetic disturbance is introduced to the sensor not using AHS, the heading estimate begins to drift. In contrast, the same magnetic disturbance does not affect the heading estimate on the MTI with AHS enabled. This video shows a small ground vehicle navigating in an indoor environment. As you can see, the vehicle returns in the same orientation as when it took off. To the right, we can compare the orientations estimated with and without AHS. As you can see, the implementation of AHS has greatly reduced the drift in heading. Since spatial and temporal magnetic field distortions make it very difficult to determine true north, AHS will stabilize the heading estimate instead. This means that when AHS is enabled, when using a filter profile that uses the magnetic field as a reference, the yaw estimates will no longer be north referenced. The yaw zero point will be established as the initial orientation the sensor was in when the orientation filter initialized. The drift in this unreferenced yaw output can be as low as 1 degree after 60 minutes for the MTI 100 series and 3 degrees after 60 minutes for the MTI 10 series. When the magnetic field is disturbed or changes, AHS will still function. By default, AHS is turned off. It can be activated in MT Manager by enabling it in the MT Settings window and clicking Right to MT. It will then be running in the background continuously. AHS can also be activated by setting its corresponding flag using the Set Options flag Low Level Communication command. When activating AHS, there are several considerations to keep in mind. First, during initialization of the sensor, AHS requires the MTI to be motionless for a short period of time. Depending on your configuration, this initialization process may take between 10 and 30 seconds. In addition, there is one known situation where AHS may have a detrimental effect on the heading estimation performance. When either the MTI or the magnetic field rotates very slowly, it will be difficult to distinguish between the two from a sensor point of view. This may result in additional heading tracking errors. We have reached the end of this tutorial video. If you have any questions or if you need help with your application, please visit us at BASE. 
Base is our online support platform where you can find knowledge-based articles, frequently asked questions, and an active community forum where you can get in touch with our engineers and product specialists. Thank you for watching.